Okay, I'm here with Shane today, and I'm deciding that we're going to uh, do a little uh, video in on wholesalers. I, you know, I've been doing this for about three years now, and all you guys, for the most part, have seen me uh, and my flips. But Shane uh, has been actually active for a couple of years now, but just in the last 45 days, uh, He's been very active, and, and I want you to listen to his story a little bit about what's happening to him and, uh, in the last 45 days. So, Shane, let's start with uh, how's it been for you on your flips? How many have you flipped in the last 45 days? I've done just under 10. I've, uh, I've done, I guess it's right at eight, eight vehicles in the last 45 days. Okay, well, now one I particularly want to talk about, and of course we don't like to disclose the amount of profits, but I want to talk about uh, Shane's rain day. And, and Shane, what, what business are you in primarily right now, this moment? I own a sunburn company uh, here in Middle Tennessee, and uh, just like any other construction company, that's exactly what happened. But Tuesday was the day of the auction. I was sitting there and I actually have a couple of cars in inventory and didn't need to, uh, didn't need to go to the auction, I actually got kind of, uh, made fun of because I was going to buy another car, but I didn't have anything else to do. So uh, I decided that I was going to go to the auction because it was raining. And I uh, just came across a, a pretty good deal, found a little Honda Pilot out there, and within, uh, within a matter of 48 hours it was gone and uh, it turned into actually my biggest money maker um, that I've done in two years. So enjoyed that just because of a rain day. So we're talking in less than 48 hours, you flipped the vehicle, but actual time, the time from the time you spent at the auction buying the vehicle, getting the vehicle prepped, and then getting the vehicle posted on Craigslist, how much Shane man hours did you spend on this vehicle? Well, I mean, I was at the auction uh, a total of two hours uh, that morning. Um, driving, I actually drove the car to practice, so no time I actually spent in it. It was already detailed at the, at the auction, so I waited on her uh, to come pick up the car, so less than four hours. So four hours, and this was a pretty handsome flip, your best flip yet. Mm -hmm. Now, you're looking at changing careers. You're talking about maybe getting away from construction and going into flipping full time. Is that pretty accurate that is correct so you can you feel you can sustain a reasonable income from this this business absolutely what I'm doing part-time right now uh, I, I, I make what I, I've made in the last 45 days what a lot of people out there uh, don't make in full-time jobs and I've done it part-time so yeah I'm pretty comfortable with my capabilities and the opportunity in front of me so you're finding it pretty flexible absolutely yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, for the last two years, I have not been, uh, because of my job and my sunroom company, uh, I have not been able to allocate time with my family. I, I love coaching my kids in baseball. And uh, this year, um, me going into this full time has allowed me to start head coaching my, my son's baseball team this year just because of this opportunity. Now, one of the questions I get asked a lot, Shane, is what is the best car to buy to flip to make money? What's your eye on for when you're buying a car? There's really no, <laughs> there's no such thing as a, a great car or a bad car. I mean, it's all, it's all perspective. You know, if you if you if you're standing there at the auction uh, and, and you feel like you've got a good deal, I can't tell you how many times that the, my just standing in a lane when nobody else was there. Um, my rule of thumb is not everybody else's rule of thumb, but right now, if I can buy anything 06 or, uh, or newer for under 1500 bucks, I pretty much jump at the bits to get it. But again, that's my rule of thumb, it's not everybody's. Shane, how do you uh, decide where you're going to sell your cars? How, I mean, how are you selling them right now, the majority of them? Uh, you know, I sell the most of mine on Craigslist, but uh, I also use apps uh, for Facebook. Um, you know, so I, it, it, a lot of times the apps, I don't sell a lot on those apps, but what it does is it keeps me interested in those vehicles. It keeps them fresh on my mind uh, because you do get constant interaction about those cars. That's a way to help me just stay motivated. And then, but most of my cars have been sold off Craigslist. Now you mentioned too that you sold off uh, Offer Up. Offer yes, sir. Up. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, yeah. tell me about those deals. Uh, I sold a little Chevy Aveo off offer up, uh, which is basically it's just an app that goes through Facebook. You download it, only allows you to take five pictures on there. But in the course of a 24 hour period, in most cars that you're putting out there, under $3,000 is what I found out. Um, you'll get you know 10 to 12 people interacting with you about that car, and it just kind of helps you have fun. Uh, and, and like I said, just keep your mindset on those vehicles. But offer up's been a good one. Uh, two of the eight. So 25% of the cars that, that I sold over the last 45 days have been uh, sold off offer up. All right. Well, there you have it. That's what we stay around. Shane's following pretty much the rule of thumb that if you can buy a car anywhere in the two to $2,500 range and flip that car quickly uh, for under $4,000, that's our business model. That's what our guys do. Is that what works for you, Shane? Absolutely. Yeah, I've had uh, I've had one vehicle that I've sold for over four thousand dollars, and that was uh, that was the pilot we were just talking about. Uh, but I will tell you guys, most in, in most cases, you're going to see that you'll hang on to that inventory a little longer. My rule of thumb is, is if I can do one two a week to let me go to the auctions and uh, do the things that I enjoy. Everybody loves buying cars, so. Uh, you know, I, I need to be able to go to the auction and, and stay the flipping, and I don't want uh, a lot with uh, 10, 20 cars in inventory. I want to always circulate and be driving new cars. So that's my rule of thumb, get rid of it quick. All right, guys, I hope Shane shared some valuable information with you, and thank you for looking at us on YouTube. Be sure and subscribe.